subscribers, let's go! Subscribers, let's get it! <laughs> we freaking hit 100 subscribers, guys. Okay, so I got a question from the King 0158 He said, what do you look for when looking for couches? What are problems that a couch that would avoid have? Homeboy, I got you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer your first question. I'm gonna show y'all some recent couches I bought and sold. This sofa set can uh, sell between 150 and 250, $250. I believe I bought it for 50 and I sold it for $200, yes. This one I bought it for, Oh, I got this actually for $30 and I sold it for $100. And this sectional, ooh, this is, this is the best flip I've done in a while. So this sectional right here, I think I bought it for $125 and I sold it for $440. So I try to look for sectionals that look like this. I'll try to show you some different sectionals I try to look for. And this one, um, this one was in rough condition, but if it looked as good as the picture, <laughs> um, this one this one can range from from a hundred to two hundred dollars on this one. Um, but yeah, I try to look for stuff like that. And this sectional, I'm not sure how much money I made on this one. Oh, I made a hundred dollar profit on this one for sure. Um, I think I might have bought it for a hundred and I think I might have bought it for 75 and I sold it for a hundred and some like over 150. I'm not sure. I know I did make a hundred profit on this one though. Uh, on this sectional, oh, I'll show you some more pictures of this sectional. This one, this one I bought, I believe for a hundred dollars and sold for three, sold for $300. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah, I think, I, I, yeah, I sold it for $300. Damn, what the heck? I, can, I don't even remember. I know I did make some money on this one though. Um, on this one, uh, this one, uh, two sofa set, two sofa set. I believe I bought this one for, a, oh, it's on my Instagram. I, I don't even remember. Let me see. I'm gonna go to my Instagram real quick. Okay, so I bought that sofa set for $100 and I sold it for $290. So that's a $190 profit on that one. Yeah, those are the recent sofas I sold and that's what I kind of look lately. I've been trying to look for better stuff, like better quality furniture. Cause like if I want to keep making like $200 profit, I want to just keep buying the good furniture for good, for a good price. Okay, I'm going to show you the things that I avoid. This is what I currently have right now. This is my sofa set. Uh, Edgar just picked this up yesterday. What I want to show you, I messed up buying this this couch. <laughs> when I went to go pick this this couch up right here, their house was extremely dirty. And what I didn't notice was the leg was broken. When we we're trying to load it, the leg just fell off. So the leg was already broken. So you need to watch out for broken legs. Things to avoid when buying couches. Tears, smelly couches. Check if the legs are broken. Check for stains. If you're trying to make like a 50 to 100 bucks, you can buy some really cheap furniture. But if you wanna make like $200 profit on each item, um, I would buy good condition uh, sofas. And I would stay away from uh, really loud colors like such as red, green, or or like an old old style an old style couch. I'll give you a, a picture of an old style couch right here. Oh, and some tricks that you could do. Okay, so say you agree to a hundred dollars on a couch, and you don't know that it's ripped, right? So you get there, right? You check it out. You look. You look at all. You look at the couch. And if there's a rip in the couch, you can knock down the price because you agree to a hundred, but you didn't know there was a rip on the couch. And you'd be like, oh, can you do 80? And normally people will go down on the price since they didn't mention there was a rip or a stain or whatever the case may be. 